everyone, and welcome back to my next episode on Vastin Dimensions. I'm Mar, and we've got a couple odds and ends to take care of here at the start of uh, this episode. I've actually already gone ahead and taken care of one of them, and that would be to clear out my inventory. Now that we have, uh, well, we can't even see it from over here, but now that we've finished the iron farms and the mob farm over there, and the collection system and the AFK platform, it's time to turn our attention back to the nether. So I've gone ahead and put away a lot of resources that I was hanging on to for use up in the tower and all that stuff. Um, so my inventory is a lot cleaner. Um, and I also want to bring a whole bunch of water bottles down to the nether. I've filled up my inventory as well as several shulkers full of water bottles. So let's go take care of that real quick. Alright, here we are at our brewing station. Uh... What do we got here? This should be good. Let's just go ahead and put a whole bunch of water bottles in these chests, um, which is the whole reason I brought them over here. Let's see. I don't think I have... Where would my extra chest be? Uh, nope. Be in here? There we go. Um, we mentioned this before that out here in the nether, I mean, it's going to be kind of difficult to you know, make potions without water bottles. And because we're in the nether, we can't just have like a water source nearby to use. So I went ahead and filled up every water bottle I could get my hands on, and, or every single empty bottle with water that I could get my hands on. So let's go ahead and empty all of these, no, not that, into these chests here. And then we can uh, have a proper brewing station all set up. Oh my goodness, there's so many water bottles. I wonder how many this is gonna be. <laughs> I wasn't really counting as I did it. I think there was like maybe two stacks of empty bottles and then some amount of already full bottles. Let's see, is that everything? Those are empty... Oh, here we go. I had to borrow one of my own to, uh, to fit everything. So, here's a bunch more. And we can put our cyan... Oops. We're throwing our tools. That's never a good thing. Put that back. So that's, a, that's full, that's full, that's full, that's full. Uh... Let's put these in here. Um, I guess right here. We'll just fill that up too. And one more. That is a lot of water bottles. <laughs> but uh, hopefully that will do us pretty good. We've got a whole bunch of fire resistance. That's empty. So if we ever need to do some brewing, we've got some basic brewing materials here. I still need to do something. Maybe we should work with these mel melon seeds today. Um, and see if we can't get uh, a little bit of melon brewing capabilities going. So let's put, let's see, are these empty? Yes. I think I'm going to go throw those in our storage. So let me go run over to the storage and see what we've got going there. And here we are back at our storage center. Let's see, let's just drop these off here. I'm, sur I'm sure someone can make use of them um, at some point. I don't need four arrows, so I'm going to get rid of those. Let's see, is there anything here? Do we have any dirt? I know I have some dirt, but I don't know how... I don't really want to use all of it just for these. Um, I don't really see a whole lot. Ooh, I do need some soul sand, though. I almost forgot. I apparently ran out of my soul sand in my storage. Let's see. Right here. So I've sorted out my, oops, my uh, inventory here. Kind of by block type. Um, so these are just some general things. I'm planning on using some name tags for some pigmen. Not a whole lot, certainly not this many of them. Um, but I found those in, I think it might have been White Sands maybe? I don't remember. So I just grabbed them all to bring them with. Um, here's some, a whole bunch of dirt, mycelium, coarse dirt, gravel, 
grass, a little bit of cobble, some packed ice. This I was actually using for the mob farms uh, delivery system, but I, I decided to bring the rest of the stack with me. I actually have almost a full shulker of this stuff back at storage um, in case people need it. Um, these are my woody type of things. Uh, miscellaneous junk. Uh, so some wool, a whole bunch of buckets, some dyes, diamond hoe, um, <laughs> my head twice. You can thank the mods for that. Um, and a dragon egg for all the, the troubles they gave me. <laughs> um, some general d uh, design things. So we got iron bars, the lanterns, uh, flower pots, some black wool and carpet. Um, I got some bunch of bookshelves and an enchanting table. I think I might want to put that somewhere here in the nether kingdom as well. Um, and, uh, you know, just some chests and general rubbish basically and then over here are all my nether type blocks so my nether warp blocks glowstone nether brick soul sand magma some nether rack obsidian is not really another uh, object but um i decided to grab what little we had just in case i needed it um and nether quartz ore as well just for like a little bit of texture variation in the walls i haven't really done any of that yet but you know just in case i decide to so every single uh box here has its uses has its need um its purpose so let's put those away and let's go pick out a spot to put in some uh melon farm so that we have melon for brewing Alrighty guys, I think the best thing to do here in order to get our little melon farm up and going is to actually just, like I mentioned I think a couple episodes ago, to convert this, uh, this slum house here into an actual farmhouse. So we'll have the brewing station right there, and then in here we will have the mycelium farm, the nether wart farm, and a small melon farm. Um, and I was thinking I could put in a little bitty door here to kind of connect them on the inside. Um, so I've got out a, a fortune pick, not, whoop, uh-oh. Oh! Ow, ow, ow. Um, so that we can, well, try and get what's left of the nether wart now that we've kind of burnt up some of it, but that's okay. So let's just, uh, fortune this up. Just like that. There's something really satisfying about, um mining nether wart <laughs> it's just you get so much of it with a fortune pick so it just kind of like goes everywhere as you mine it I wonder how much I just got oh not very much I mean a lot a lot don't get me wrong it's a lot of nether wart but <laughs> I was expecting my entire inventory to be full uh, it's pretty well full though. I mean, that's not bad. Now we're gonna have to pick up the soul sand because we're gonna have to move it around. So let's just grab all of this. Oh dear. I hope we didn't just lose some down there. <gasps> oh my goodness. Who designed this room? <laughs> Actually, I think it was uh, who designed it. <laughs> I'm like, this is a little unsafe, you know. Is my inventory? Nope, my inventory is not full yet. I really would prefer not to fall in the lava lake beneath us. And honestly, I would prefer to not have the floor be only one block thick. That just seems really unsafe to me. Let's grab our mycelium bow. Now, I did the mycelium part, so I'm pretty sure I plugged any holes that I came across. There we go. A whole lot of that. Let's grab this, and I don't think I can fit all of, it in my Im all of this in my inventory, so we're just going to use this temporarily to hold all of this junk that I have in, in my inventory. Um, so let's see, what do we want to do? I really don't want there to only be one block between me and the lava, but on the other hand, this is the level we're going to be walking at here. What if we had the walking level here, and then as we come back here we can like step up a few and go into this area, and step up a few and go into that area, and then step up a few and go in this, in this area, and then we'd have the uh, 
mycelium, the nether wart, and the melons or something like that. Let me work on this a little bit. Um, I have, I actually, right before the, I started this clip, I, I just finished having a couple brain waves on what I want to do um, with the with the nether, nether fortress area in general. Um, I'm kind of thinking the pigmen in this area, they're, this is the slums. So the idea is that it's, it's really run down and everything. And maybe it's also a little bit like being in jail too. So we've got that huge gate. And I was thinking of putting some pillars, like one on this side of the, br the bridge to be, one on that side of the bridge to be, one over there, like one here and here or something like that. Kind of like bordering, like marking out the boundaries basically. Because we have this giant lake out here and we don't want to really use this for anything. Um, but if we put like pillars or towers you know, at, at certain points, and then, like, barred it off with iron bars. That might give it a kind of cool effect. Um, and then I was also thinking of bringing back the ceiling just a little bit, um, and then basically barring that off as well. Um, kind of making, giving it, like, a cage feeling. Um, but yeah, that's something that we'll have to work on or think about um, a little later. Um, so we're probably not going to get to it today, but I would like to at least get this done today. So let me do a little bit of work and I'll bring you back in a little bit. Guys, I just had the most horrible idea. I am going to do something horribly mean right here. <laughs> but before we look at that, this is what I kind of came up with for a hallway design. Um... It's nothing too special, really. It is lit up well enough, um, except here in the hallway. It is lit up over here. I've got some um, magma with, you know, torch behind it, so it gives off lightning on the bottom sides here. And then I've got some nether wart blocks, basically mirror image only on the top. Um, and then I have a uh, lava flowing through these little columns here um, with uh, the fences here. Not not really to keep it in, because uh, if I remove these, it wouldn't flow out. I, I dug down one block, so it had some place to go. But more for um, aesthetics and just a little safety barrier, just in case, you know? So that's what I've got here for the hallway. I've got some stairs and some slabs here. Um, I actually need to go get more nether brick, because I'm really low. But I had this horrible idea for pretty much this area right here. Um, I do need to turn whatever... You can see my inventory right here. That might give you an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, I basically went and got all of our glass reserves. Like, every last scrap of it. Um, so, let's see. I need to... I want to make this a nice big room. Um, what is our length here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um... Now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't turned all those into slabs, so let's see. These are just going to be placeholder. I'm trying to... F I want to sort of form a circle, I guess. Oops, that's not right. Nope. And I want it to be... I want the flat sides to be an odd number. So let's see. That's at a diagonal. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe. And then a post. Another post. Another post another post of course this side's only going to be th well three it wa yeah, I want it to be five wide so that I can have a three entrance with the sides being walls is what I was meaning to say so that's a uh, three one two three four five one two three of course this one doesn't really want to cooperate Oh, I see. I see what I'm doing. I'm counting this as this post here, but then in, instead of counting three, I'm counting out five. So that's why it's not adding up. Okay, um, so in that case, what I actually need to do, maybe bring this in one. So this is my wall. One, two, three. Take those down. That's a wall. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of these, and then uh, how many in between two? And then there's a wall, one, two, three, get rid of that, uh, one, two, because this would 
Actually, no, I was supposed to leave that red knight. Leave that there. One, two. One, two. So this is what I'd be working with. And then my whole room would basically be like... Well, that's my center point. Well, that was, that was the center point. It's not going to be anymore. Oops. And my new center point is going to be right here. Except I want this to be a 3x3. Three three, which means I can fill that. So, this is roughly the size of the room, I guess. Only, the only question is whether I would want to make it bigger, and I'm kind of thinking about it, maybe? Um, so the center here is going to have one of those columns that we have had outside, um, one of these right here. And the scary bit that I have all this glass in my inventory is because we're only one, in most places, we're only one block between us and the, and the lava. And I was thinking, what if I tore out this and put glass in instead? Just to kind of freak people out while they're walking in here. Um, the only dilemma is that a lot of our glass textures have have been modified by our texture pack. They aren't the, the vanilla. So, um, like, my black is... Uh, where is the black? Oh, I don't have any black. I, I didn't have any, but I did look at it in the crafting window. So, if we look up uh, glass... As you can see, it's kind of got this, like, crisscrossy sort of a of an effect. Um, not quite like the green, but kind of similar, I guess. And I'm not sure whether it's going to look very good as a floor, um, it, which is why I also have this gray glass here. And I brought some more plain and some sand to make more um, in case I need it or if I choose a different color. But I'd really like to try and do um, glass floor with nether brick, uh, not these fences, but like the actual blocks as the walls. And then we'll have some sort of like entranceway, archway type thing. And that'll be on all four sides. In the center we'll have the pillar and then all of this stuff here will be the glass. Just for the center here. Like once you go up the stairs to the actual farms that won't have the glass floor. But I kind of wanted to do the glass floor just here. Um, now, I also thought it'd be kind of cool to have a the same thing, like a second floor maybe, um, with, with a balcony perhaps, and maybe do some sort of dome on top, and maybe cover the dome with lava so that it's like you're underneath a lava lake as well. Um, so it, it, it's got, I've got lots of little, lots of parts to this idea. I do think um, I would, while I want to have glass in here, I'm kind of thinking, now that I've placed this down, that I'd like to have a border. So the slabs would be around the edges of both this and this. Um, so I'm going to need it. I'm, I'm going to need to make this bigger because then we'd have a slab here, slab here, slab here, and a glass block here and here. And that's not very wide or scary. I'd like the skinniest place to be no less than two blocks in, in width. Um, so I think we're going to have to make this room quite a bit bigger, uh, which means I'm going to have to dig into that and pop. Oops, I'm about to lose a fence over here. Um, I'm going to have to dig into the wall here and push it back a little bit. And I'm also going to need to go get some more nether bricks. So let me get cracking at this and I'll bring you up for an, bring you back for an update once I have a little bit more of what I'm going for. Alrighty guys, I have got a bit of an update for us. I ended up deciding to go with gray stained glass. And the reason for that, uh, there's a couple different reasons for that. Uh, mainly, uh, the, the primary reason is that my two secondary options, would, would, which would have been the clear glass and the black stained glass, they, they just didn't really do it for me. The, the, I liked the clear glass, but I didn't like the textured sides uh, around the edges of the block. And I also kind of liked the black stained glass, but it ended up just feeling too dark. So you'd look down and you couldn't really even see the lava all that well. It, I think it was even darker than the gray here. And with all the lines running through it, it just, it didn't bring the effect that I was quite looking for, um, which is to kind of make, you know, your stomach drop out or from underneath you or something when you, when you step down here, um, make you a little bit scared to be walking on this. Um, I have actually run out of the gray stained glass though, so I'm gonna have to go make some more. Um, 
for this little section over here. And I also want to do it for the dome on top. I, I think uh, I'll use the same glass type at the top as I do down here. Um, so I've got part of the center pillar in place. Um, it's not, you, you can't actually fall down this yourself, but if you throw an item, goodbye item. Um, so people, do not throw your items in this room. I mean, really that goes for anywhere in the nether, but don't think that this room is safe for your items to be chucked around willy-nilly. Um, so we've got the three passageways here um, for, our, for our three farms. And then I also have part of the upstairs uh, completed as well. Um, I'm gonna have lava flows down each of these three channels on all four sides. And then above that, pretty much at this level, it's gonna start creating the dome, which means I need to push back this nether rack a little bit more. Um, getting the slope of the dome is gonna be the tricky part, especially because I need this to come up and meet it in the center. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is bring this up, try it, and then try and like find a good height where it, it you know, really sort of um, fits together, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, these torches here are temporary. Once I get the lob in place, I should provide more than enough light on the second floor. It's going to be barred off. I'm going to put... A, I have this open right now so that I can get in and out, but ultimately you're not even going to be able to get up here. It's just for looks. Um, so the lava should provide more than enough lighting for what it's going to be used for. Um, I'm not sure how high the dome is going to go either, so... Again, that, that has a lot to do with the, the slope we end up going with. Um, we probably won't get to any of the three farms today, but I do want to finish up at least the dome. Um, so let's see. Um, the system we've got here, and I'm already starting to run out of nether, uh, nether brick fences and stuff like that, if you can believe it. Um, can I get back on this fence, please? Please, please. No, come on, come on. I'm, I went on the fence. All right, fine. There we go. All right, so we need to bring these up. Basically, what I do here, I don't remember if I've d mentioned this in my previous episodes when I was building these out there. Um, I mean, it's so hard to see right here. Can I have a torch? Thank you. Um, I basically put a one full block between each slab. Um, so let's see, which level is this at? Looks like this is at the top level of that block, so the next one needs to be at the bottom level, oops, of this block, right there. So, bring ourselves up a little bit, I can't hardly see, I think it's right there, there, and there, and then we need it to be at the top of this one. So you just, you just alternate. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. So that's the top. And we need to bring these up a fair bit more. And the bottom. And then bring us up a little bit more. Oop, we're starting to run into ceiling here. Let's clear this out a little bit. Okay. A little higher. And I've already forgotten whether that was the top or the bottom. <laughs> okay, so if I stand on it, it is the bottom half. Okay, so we need to do a top. Which is right there. Back on our, our stair here. Or, I mean, our fence post. And a little bit more. I don't know how I want, want this to go. It's the real tricky part. And there's the bottom. I think I may just leave it right here, just for the time being. Though I am going to plug this hole. I don't want to accidentally fall through the middle, which means I can unplug that hole. Um, let's take a step back. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, how is this feeling? Like, in height. I feel like I want it to go at least another... I don't know, two or three blocks, maybe? Two or three? Seems vaguely reasonable. Let's climb back up there. And, uh... Bump 
her nose on the ceiling. Okay, so... Huh. If I am at... What is this? The bottom half again? Yeah. So... Let me think about this. I need... The slabs to be at this level. For... The final layer. So that I can then have a one full block gap. And then an upside down stair. So this needs to go up two more. Like this. And let's get rid of that. Plug the hole. And then I need to give myself a little bit more headspace here. Because I don't want any of this nether rack nearby. And let's see here. Uh, this is going to be really hard to place. Ugh, so tight up here. Basically, we're putting in the upside down stairs that kind of mark the topmost layer. Like this. And like that. Lava go will go in the center, which means we'll probably want to put some nether rack on top just so that it can't flow out over the sides. Um, we're gonna need... I don't have any more slabs. What? No, I need more slabs. Okay, let's run down here and make a few more slabs. Don't need too many. And climb back up. And put a slab on top of each of these fence posts. Like that. And then we'll probably want a rim similar to what we have down below um, with the little edges down there. So we'll just put these in front. I can't reach that from this side. And then at this point is when I'd put in the glass and start bringing it down to the slope. So let me keep working on this. Let me see if I can't get the dome in shape and maybe put in the lava as well because I think that's pretty much all that we have left other than making a little bit more uh, gray glass to put in the floor down there. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Here you have it. <laughs> I think it turned out quite well. I kind I was kind of surprised that that lava particles won't come through glass the way they are dripping through those blocks there. That kind of surprises me. I didn't expect that would be the case. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I wasn't even thinking of the particles when I built this, but um, it's interesting to know anyway. I had a bit of a trick getting the lava to flow because I've, I keep forgetting lava and water will flow towards the path of least resistance. So when I put it at the top middle, it would literally just flow out in straight lines um, on the polar axes there. Um, so I had to put quite a few buckets of lava up there before they started cascading to cover the corners as well. So from the upside, from like the top side, this is basically a giant lava mound. Um, and then of course you can look down and see your bubble lava lake as well. Um, of course we still have the three hallways incomplete. Um, that'll probably be next episode, I think. Um, I did uh, do a little caving, not caving really, but like I, I, I burrowed a little path over here. Um, this is what the top side looks like. Um, it's that's it's kind of scary being this close to the, that much lava. Um, and then down here I also dug down um, because this is the lava lake that I have been... It's actually the same lava lake, uh, but it's the one that I've been using to uh, collect lava since, unfortunately, Mo Yang, there's no such thing as an infinite lava source. Please, fix that. Um, so that lake is not going to be part of the build at all. It, I mean, it's going to end up looking like a wreck because I'm going to be using so much lava for decoration like this. Let's see, how much lava, how many lava buckets did I use? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16.
17, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24 lava buckets. 24 lava buckets. I'm pretty sure that's the count. And technically, since I haven't done these three sections, and maybe we'll use some lava for decoration there as well, there could be even more lava buckets. All for one, essentially all for one build. That is an incredibly, uh, that's a lot of lava, basically, for one build. Um, especially considering lava does not flow to re replenish its sources, which is a huge shame. Um, because it's not like there's not a lot of lava in the nether, so it doesn't make sense for it to not replenish, basically. But, oh well, I guess it is what it is. Maybe they're worried that, you know, that people would have too easy in a, a time, um, with lava in the overland. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but I think this is a, a lot of really good progress here. Uh, we didn't even get to the melons, but maybe we can do that next episode instead. I really like the design that we came up with here, and I hope you uh, like it as well. Um, but without further ado, I think I'll call it here. Um, oh, that's a little close. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you keep on coming back for more. If you have any you know, tips or um, feedback or just general comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But apart from that, I hope to see you next time. So until then, have a fantastic time. Bye!